Hello, this is Chrissy. Um, in my last video where I showed my boho journals, um, I had some uh, people asking me about my velvet flowers. And so I thought I'd do a little um, show and tell video how I made those. I do have to stress that this is not my original idea. I um, got the inspiration for this from Lilla and I'll link her channel below. So I start off with a piece of velvet <coughs> about one and a quarter inches wide and I'm concertinaing it just folding it over on itself even um, sized folds and I like to have five, five petals on my flower. So I've got one, two, three, four, five there. And so this fabric's a bit long. I'll just cut that piece off the back. So here's the five little um, pieces and now I want to shape it into the shape of a, um, a petal so I'm rounding off the top sort of just in a round shape like that so that when I open up the piece I've got something that resembles put that down there for you to see that it's not perfect but we can um, just tidy up those shapes by rounding <coughs> excuse me by rounding them a little bit more like that that's good enough doesn't have to be perfect and then I've got my needle threaded up and I'm going to run a running stitch right along the bottom just up from the bottom and um, not too big probably maybe a quarter of an inch and just take that right along to the other end Uh, this velvet is from an old scarf and um, I find op shops are a good option for finding remnants of fabric or old um, scarves or garments that you can repurpose nearly at the end now Here we are. So we just pull that and then pull it tight and around into the um, a circle shape. Find the beginning and the end and just catch those two the beginning petal and the end petal together just catch them together so that you've pulled it right into a round <clears throat> you can see that it's I've actually tried doing this video several times and I've never been happy with the results so hopefully this time will be at least you'll be able to get the idea 
so there we've got that into the flower shape and I just um, bring my needle up to the back and tidy that up sew that up at the back so that it's firm and that there's no hole in the center you want a hole in the center so just secure it firmly like that so there's the basic flower shape now then bring your um, needle up through the center and you can um, use different ways of embellishing the um, center of the flower um, some of these I've used three beads in I think odd number looks best so I've used three smaller beads in some of these that one I hope my camera's focusing okay um, this one I'll just use one single bead so on this one just to show you I think I'll I'll use the three Whoops, sorry, why did I do that? Just undo that. Um, and just so you can see the colour on it a bit better, I'll use these blue beads. So, just secure those. A couple of times each through each hole and another one. Pearls look nice in the center as well. Now the third one. Uh, this velvet is very soft and it um, it's actually quite forgiving and it um, lends itself nicely to the little folds in the petals that um, help the flower to look realistic And then I just like to go through all three centers of the beads, just go around each and through each center of the bead just to secure them firmly and back down to the back and finish it off. Um, you can sew or glue these onto your project. So there's the 
seems the finished flower. I guess you could make these as big or as small as you wanted. Can you see that? So there we are. That's how I made my velvet flowers. So I hope this has been helpful and thank you very much for watching subscribing and commenting and I'll see you again. Bye!